All right, Friday, 26th of August, here at Corinda. We're at Donaldson Street. Donaldson Street, Corinda. I forget what number it is. 73 or something. 69, 69, I think it is. Uh, Donaldson Street, Corinda. Another job for uh, Callum Hughes, CGH Constructions. He's actually doing one down the end of the street also. Uh, we're moving this house across over to where the guys are with the bobcat at the moment. So this corner, so the corner that's right there, moves over just past the edge of the house over there. I'll show you the holes in a second. And they're drilling the holes because the house actually comes down to three feet or 900 off the ground. That's how high she's going to be sitting when she's finished. Nice big properties. There's some nice big ones here in uh, Corinda. This is one of them. And she's going to move right across to here. Virtually where this yellow uh, hammer is. It's, there's the corner post. That hole there. That's that corner over there. As I said, that corner over there moves across and sits down here. So right against the edge of the house, just there is the new stump line and it goes across over to here hit across over here takes the bumper going through here's the front of the house here's the front two posts they're the ones off the bay window the front there that's the corner post so we're going over there that post right there you see that one right there Comes over here, and there's this one here, uh, all the way over there. So she's moving nearly 13 metres over to the right. And that's our line, I don't know if you see all those blue marks down there, but it's our line of stumps there, that's the outside of the house. Beautiful old house, been here a long while. Say close to 100 years. I haven't, haven't found a date on it yet. She looks like about 1910 in my experience, but I could be wrong. Just on those weatherboards and windows. Might even be older. I doubt it. There's a type of timber used under the house. So, yeah. Nice old building. Been here a while. The uh, last uh, owners were here from what I just found out from a neighbour. They're living here for around 60 years, the family. And now uh, this has happened, they moved out and it's now being moved over. And it gets extended later on. <clears throat> In a year or so, they extend out the side and the house actually suddenly becomes even bigger. And we'll extend all the way out back to here again. At the moment it's going to finish there on that row of stumps just over there. But it's going to extend all the way over to here somewhere. There's quite a bit of extension to go on at a later stage. <coughs> but yeah. Nice, they kept the big tree at the front. They took a few of the big trees out. Apparently there's a bit of a forest a couple of weeks back. Because it hadn't been, touched, hadn't been touched for a long time. It's all getting cleaned up now. Uh, the chimney moves over with it. It's got a chimney up there. We've got to make a, a frame, lift that chimney, and that slides over with the house. And we actually put it on stumps over the side over there. So, yeah, nice big job. We said another one for, for Callum for CGH Constructions. And she's a beauty. We've actually got to so late in the afternoon, and the boys are running late with the with their jobs with the uh, Bobcats. Uh, we've got uh, Jeff and uh, Tex here for Brisbane Stumping and Excavations. He also does stumping on the side. But, uh, yeah, we've got both of them coming to drill all these holes so we can get them done today. And then the plumber comes in and put, does all, puts all the pipes around. Once he finds out where all the, now he knows where all the holes are, all the posts, posts are going. He's able to put his pipes in between 
Uh, otherwise, if we've had the plumber first, in most cases what happens is the plumber comes in before us, puts all his pipes in, doesn't know where all the uh, stumps are going, and we end up drilling through half the pipes he's dug. So it makes a bit of a mess. Much easier this way, he knows where the posts are going, and he can uh, make sure his pipes go around them. Cool. Alright guys, nice chatting with you. Keep viewing, I'll try and get more on, unfortunately I'm, uh, I haven't had much time to do videos lately, it's, uh, one, getting the videos done is hard enough, but two, getting the time to put them onto YouTube, that's even harder, because we, the last uh, six to eight weeks we haven't stopped work till seven, eight o'clock at night, by the time we get home, after an hour trip home, you're not really in the mood to... Uh, play uh, with the computer and then uh, waking up, getting up and uh, getting ready for work at five in the morning once again. No, I'm not in the mood to sit down and try and download or upload onto YouTube. But we'll get there, piece by piece. It's going well. Alrighty, we'll catch you guys again soon. See ya. Bye.